this is a uh, tech one twelve seven one six belt here. Um, so I gave you a shilling package in. And this is about two US on EBA. The experiment I want to try today is not dealing with the pelt itself per se, but trying to put this in direct sunlight, see if I can get some heat on it, measure the temperature differential, and see if a voltage is produced. Um, then further, see if I can paint one side black, uh, determine the hot side from this point up, paint that side black, and see if we can get even better voltage, assuming we get voltage on the first one. So, put out just link in the um, data sheet and show what they say about it. It's a Chinese data sheet. It seems to be from the correct company that made this initially, forgetting the resellers. So, um, yeah, let's see if this actually works. And if it works, what kind of power we can get? Um, try to estimate efficiency on something this small is probably going to be highly inaccurate, but mm, maybe we do some other rough calculations too. Before we actually start testing, there's a crack here. As you can see, I've marked the side. This is the cold side, the other side is the hot. Um, doesn't seem to affect it. I only realized this after testing, and it gets cold pretty fast on 12 volts. It's rated at about, I think, 14.4 and 16 point something volts maximum. So let's see. If I put this in the sunlight, I create a differential. So I'm going to have to insulate this side. Maybe put a piece of cardboard or something of the sort just to make sure it doesn't touch the hot surface. Put the other side on and see what we get. Outside, lots of breeze, so I'm sure you're getting a lot of extra noise. Um, not much difference. This is actually got to, this is actually got to be white, it's reflecting a lot of this sunlight, so I'm not getting much difference. I'm lighting it around, it's about 36 degrees on both sides. So, with no temperature differential, I can't really expect to get voltage it's a couple of millivolts right now so i'm gonna put an optimize here with some water hopefully that cools down that side um i don't expect that to help that much the next thing is use a magnifying glass put some heat on that concentrate the razor and see what happens the napkin with water made the um, power jump well voltage jump from four five millivolts thereabouts to about 50 millivolts again still negligible we're not even going to volts yet. Try the magnifying glass, that didn't really get very far. Sun isn't very cooperating that much, it's in and out. Um, but yeah, we got up to about 40 milliamps. Uh, when you concentrate the beam in the center, maybe a lot larger glass is needed. That's a four inch magnifying glass. So when it concentrates, you're really down to, you know, less than a centimeter across. So it's not really covering that much area and the temperature didn't really rise. So. Went to the next option, spray paint. As you can see, I didn't really clean it that well. So there's a few little spots that probably had grease or whatever and didn't get paint. But let's see if this improved things. Back, putting a spot there with the magnifying glass. It's about probably two to three millimeters in diameter, which is very small, very little bit of it being used. Um, we're up to 200 milliamps. Obviously, a lot larger um, uh, focusing. Uh, lens would be required to cover this property, but there is potential. The question is how much amps does it put out now? Well, milliamps obviously or microamps. Diagnosis with the um, painted black, I'm getting 44 and the white napkin at being 29. You're looking at about 15 degrees Celsius theoretically with one of those non contact um, thermometers. Are you looking at about 50 to 70 milliamps without concentration and it's about 20 milliamps of current I right, direct shot not for meter but you know I didn't expect it to be able to blow up that meter so um, potential I think I'm just gonna do the final thing is heat this up to a differential that is possible on the direct sunlight and see what would be the voltage and current that it could deliver Right, this being an inconsistent sunlight, um, just the potential is this even a semi useful technology? Which I suspect it isn't, and that's why it's not used elsewhere. But just to see what it can do. Right, so if you look at this, we're seeing 0 0.538 volts, and this is with the heat source on it, it's about 60 degrees Celsius. 
um, that's very feasible to get so yeah it's dropping and I think the temperature differential is going down because the paper below is probably getting warm now 100 degrees Celsius at the center right now and we are looking at just over one foot I would need to connect up the um, other meter and see what kind of current draw we get again I still don't really expect it to be that much but we have crossed one volt but that's a hundred degrees differential and that's quite a bit um, I could expect maybe a hundred and fifty degrees differential at maximum probably with solar unless you really try to heat and then cool the next side it's going to be problematic definitely doesn't seem like the best method of generating power right we're now starting to try to come back up trying to set up both meters um, we're looking at oh it's reflecting 223 millivolts that's not much um, yeah, look at that 2.24 amps hmm. that seems rather dodgy I think the voltage is being um, restrained simply because this is a full short circuit right it's just connected directly across the meter this meter is rated up to a 20 amp uh, input so there's no way it's going to blow this meter and I have it on amps not milliamps not microamps so yeah it's not going to generate 20 amps no way in hell but it's restricting the voltage it's keeping the voltage artificially low right let me put this down and take a temperature measurement to see what's going on there as you can see I use XTEC meters now not fluke and I'll do a video on that I don't have much viewers but um, I'll show what fruit does in design. Off camera, I'll take the measurements, it's about 100 degrees Celsius in the center and going out. And I've just pulled off the contact here. And as expected, we over 1 volt again. Under short circuit conditions, this is going down to millivolts. Alright, so as you can see, the meter has no current because it's not connected. Um, so yeah, under direct load, it goes down to almost zero. I guess that could be expected. Um, but the power isn't really that great. It definitely is not that much power.